Hey there, folks. Uh, hope it's about live here. I think I'm live. How's everybody doing tonight? It's uh, pretty late here on the East Coast of the United States, but I uh, want to do a quick stream for this game here. Uh, Space Quest, Space, sorry, not Space Quest, Space Trek 2. So the game apparently came exactly like this in this little um, plastic cassette case with a little itty bitty manual. Uh, it's pretty small. <laughs> and here's the cassette tape. Uh, one side is level one, one side is level two. And uh, I loaded this up um, through like the cassette, my cassette drive into Audacity, made it into a WAV file, and I'm using the TRS32 emulator. I actually used WAV to cast to convert them into dot .cassette files. Here's a little um, little manual here. I'm not going to read it. You have, uh, you'll see it in a second how this works. Interestingly enough, like I saw a magazine article review of this game, and it basically said that uh, the game. Uh, it has six different programs, so it's a good value. But it's actually not six different programs. It's like one of the program. It's like level one version, and level two version, and the uh, the level uh, each version has th has like instructions and a title screen of the actual game, and they count that as three programs times level one, level two is six. So anyway, <laughs> all right, let's get started here. I'm gonna load up the first thing. We we'll actually have to watch this load in real time. You can see the cassette counter there. It doesn't take that long, but uh, I do like to give, you know, sort of the authentic experience, even though I'm running on an emulator. It's mostly running at normal, uh, you know, 1x speed. Hey, Ryan, dude, how's it going? Good to see you, man. Is it a past your bedtime? I'm really happy to see you, though. It's been, it's been, I missed you a few times already. Monterance Ross, how you doing, man? So is, is, is Ross your first name or your last name, just to make sure? I, I want to get this right. So I'm loading up this game, Space Trek 2. Oh, it's ready. Okay. So that was quick. And you can see it's just a basic program. If I list it, I can actually see it. And the this first thing here, the first program, we can bedtime and start later. Okay. The first program, all it does is say, Instant Software Presents Space Trek 2 by KB1. I don't know what that is. Copyright 1978 Instant Software. And literally, that's all it is. And it tells you, like, load the next program. So I'm going to put in the uh, next program. There we go. And let's press C load. And now it's going to load the next one. <laughs> Space track sounds familiar. Yeah, I wonder what that could be. You see the picture on the cover? What, what could that be, Ryan? It must be Star Wars, right? <laughs> like this is the smallest manual I've ever seen, by the way. Look at look how small it is. <laughs> look at my hand. Look at the manual. It's definitely the smallest manual I've ever seen. And like it's actually like has a few pages in it too. It's a whole bunch of pages with like a staple in the middle. Hey, David, uh, the original hardware device this ran on was a, a TRS-80 Model 1. Um, there was two, on this cassette, there was two different uh, sides. Side A is for um, a Level 1, like a, basically a standard original TRS-80 Model 1 with only 4K of memory. And then I'm running the other side, which is Level 2 Basic with 16K of memory. Um, so that's, that's what it was. TRS-80 Model 1 came out in 1977. This game is from 1978. And uh, it's pretty uh, pretty old, I guess. And how can they legally get away with that picture? Um, they probably didn't. <laughs> I mean, basically nobody knew. Nobody knew what the hell was going on. In 1978, you know, uh, Paramount, whoever owned, you know, I guess it was Desilu, whoever owned Star Trek at the time, they didn't know what the hell was going on with TRS-80, even though TRS-80 Model 1 was the most popular computer of its time. From like 1978, let's say to 1980, it was the most popular computer pr probably in the world. The Apple II was already out, but it wasn't so popular until a little bit later. So here's, here's the next program. It's again in basic, and you'll see what happens when you run this. Basically, this is the instructions. This part gives the instructions. Part two is the game itself. A teletype message is coming in. Are you ready to copy? Sure. So now it's like I'm Captain Kirk, and I'm getting like this message coming in from Starfleet Command, but instead of being like a video message from an admiral, we're like... <coughs> It's like, you know, this really slow teletype as if we're in 1940. Stardate 2078.4. Normal communications jammed. So situation critical. Massive attack by Klingon warships. Imperative launch starship. <laughs> I gotta slow down here. Starship Enterprise immediately. 
I mean, they, they, obviously, they could they could run this on the screen super fast. This is not that the computer is too slow. It's just they're trying to simulate like a some kind of you know coded message coming in through secret channel. Imperative launch Starship Enterprise immediately. Approximately twenty five Klingon warships approaching your area rapidly. Repeat. Launch Enterprise immediately. I think that's what it says, something like that. Repeat. Yes, I repeat it. Okay, got it. Launch Enterprise at once. And begin your... <laughs> Can't miss a shadow voice. <laughs> Launch Enterprise at once. And begin your space trek. So we get to see the cover of the manual now. So they don't write two, they just... It just says space track. There's a nice picture of the uh, the Enterprise. Do 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 all right, quickest. This seems like much simpler than the other Star Trek games we played so far. It seems like very, very bare bones, and I'm not sure how long this is, this stream is going to be because, from what I can tell, okay, there's 25 Klingons every time. David, thank you very much. I appreciate that. There's 25 Klingons every time. It's not random like some of the other games. You only have four functions here: impulse drive, warp drive, phasers, and photon torpedoes. There's no um, sensors. There's no computer. There's no nothing. That's so, so all you got. Impulse, warp, phasers, and photon torpedoes. And every time you use anything, it takes a bunch of power, except for photon torpedoes, but you only have three of them. And photon torpedoes, you can only shoot up and down. <laughs> what does God need with the spaceship? What does God need with this starship? Oh, psh, psh, all right. So that's those are my four commands. All commands enter function and direction distance. Fair fi phasers fire all directions. It will obscure a star from view of shot. Torpedoes only fire up or down. So this Enterprise is like the worst torpedoes ever. And then most of these games have a self-destruct, like in case of, you know, you know what's going on, like emergency. In this one, there's no self-destruct, but firing phasers at a black hole will either blow you up or turn the hole into a star or a base. So if you're really stuck, you can try shooting at a black hole and it might turn into a star base. I don't know how that's logically consistent, but apparently that could happen. And then, during every move you make, every live Klingon stores a hit on your shields, costing 4% of shield power. So this is basically really hard. I, I don't know how you, how you do this. No moves can be made that would require more of the remaining power of the system. Refuel by docking with a star base and type 000 to redraw a display. All right, so that's the instructions. And now I'm going to load in the final piece here, which is the actual program. So let's put in that right image here. There we go. Press play. Press enter. Press L. All right, so now it's loading the actual game. I mean, I will say the picture was nice. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be the best thing here is the picture, but uh, this literally came out like a year after the TRS-80 did, and this is... what the Star, the Star Trek motion picture came out in 1978 also, if I remember correctly. 78 or 79? I want to say 78? I think 78. So this would be the same year as the motion picture. Obviously, Star Trek have been in reruns forever, and, like, you know, the Star Trek game on the mainframe came out in 1971, and so this Star Trek stuff was very popular at the time. But this is this is one of the early examples of Star Trek on an actual home computer, a PC. In this case, the TRS-80, for those who don't know, was made by Tandy Corporation, which also owned and operated the Radio Shack stores, which just recently basically went out of business. 1979? Okay, so I was off by a year. So this is before the motion picture, even. Thank you, Ryan. So this is the same company that made the, had the Radio Shack stores that, until recently, were, were operating. Thank you, Ryan, for Googling it. Oh, by the way, uh, this is Pepsi Max, Ryan. Not Diet Pepsi, but Pepsi Max. I tried something different. It's okay. It's also di like Diet Pepsi, but it's a different blend. Okay, here, let's go. Just so you can see, it's another basic program here. Now, one thing I noticed about this, and I'll show you right away, <laughs> good man. Yeah, I miss Radio Shack also. The, the problem was at the end of Radio Shack, there was like sort of no point to go there because you get everything on Amazon for like a quarter of the price. So you see like, I have a very simple display here. Um, e is the Enterprise, K is Klingons, those stars are stars. 
Yeah, I, I agree. The Max is only something I drink just once in a while, just for a change of pace. So, I, t I noticed right away there's a bug in this program. I mean, it's not a bug. It tells you in the manual, you, for, you should only use impulse drive within the sector, and you should use warp drive only to, without, you know, to leave the sector. So, if I try to use impulse drive, just so you see, impulse drive to the left one, that should take me to a different sector. And actually, it seems like it did. But if I try to go up with the impulse drive, impulse drive up two, every time I try this, it crashed the program. See, FC error in, five, in 690. So you can't do that. So I'm just going to start it over again from the beginning. This time I'll, it'll have a different a different configuration. But you can't use impulse drive to fly from one sector to the other. You can only use warp drive. And then you basically get killed because... Oh, my God. So there's only 25 Klingons. Suppose. Oh, there's a base there. This is actually the first time I tried it. It was actually a base. So that actually means I have a chance, theoretically. Although, I don't... Okay. Remember, this is how this works. I have three torpedoes. They can only shoot up and down. So right now I can theoretically hit the Klingon right to the bottom of me with a torpedo if I want to. Every every turn, they each shoot me and I lose 4% of my phasers. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So at the first turn, I lose 25%... Sorry, not on my shields. The first turn, I lose 28% of my shields regardless of what I do. Basically, if I don't take them all out in like three turns, I'm dead. So I don't see how it's possible... I guess I can get to the base. All right, let's let me try to shoot the Klingon right below me with a photo, with a photon torpedo. I actually have a base here. Torpedo down. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I got a torpedo. My shield power is at seventy-two now. All right, let me try to go down now. I'll use impulse drive. Down to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, my shield power is at 48. <laughs> uh, let me shoot a phaser to the right. I, I think phasers go to all directions. F actually, no, maybe not. Phaser, right, three. <laughs> that crashed the program, too. Oh, my gosh. Wow, this is not a very good program. Can I continue? Continue error. Okay. Uh, let's try that again. All right, so this is not a, this there's something wrong here. Like this, this program sucks. I've, <laughs> this I, I loaded this directly off the cassette, and there were no errors of any kind in the load. The load was completely fine. Let's try that again. Let me try shooting the phaser at this at this Klingon on top of me. Phaser up two. At that time, it worked, and I didn't I didn't die. I didn't, nothing happened. I don't know why that why that happened that time. Okay, let me let's try this something else. Let's let's see let's see what happens if if I continue here. So now I have no base anymore. Let me do warp drive to the left and I'll go one. So now I'm in a new sector and it's redrawing it basically. Get rid of the zero at the start of that line code, Jay says. Alright, I'll try that next time. I didn't I didn't even look at the line very carefully. Why the hell would there be a bug in the, in the basic code? Like, if it came off... Like, if it loaded off the cassette, fine. It shouldn't have any, like... Unless it's just they, they shipped it buggy. All right, I'm in a situ the same situation I was before with... There's, like, six six Klingons, and then there's a base to the bottom. I mean, it looks like the same sector, even. All right, let me try to shoot a torpedo again at the one on the bottom here. Torpedo... Down... Could have been there all along, yeah, I guess. But, like, but why... Torpedo down five. This is like this, like the I don't know how many TRS eighty games I've played recently, and this is the only one that was anywhere near this buggy. All right, let's try to go impulse down one two three four five six seven. All right, so I'm right near the base. So actually, I got refueled and everything. So can I just like sit here? But I guess I can't shoot the Klingons any direct. I can't shoot diagonally because it's such a bad ship. If Captain Kirk was now, he'd be canceled. <laughs> he'd be canceled for his problematic hatred of Klingons. Yeah, he would actually. I mean, you think about it. Like you know, he hated old Klingon. He, well, he, listen, he it was he hated Klingons, but uh, like Worf is a good Klingon. He didn't know. He you know he just he was like uh, he was he was mistaken. He was misguided. All right, let's go. Uh, I guess I have to move. Let me move up. Impulse. Let's see if I can kill this Klingon. Impulse. Up, one. And now let's go uh, phasers. 
So you can't, you can't shoot torpedoes to the right or the left for some reason. Phasers, right, one. Again. Okay, why is there a zero there? Good point. Let's see if I can fix it. For Z equals F to G, step H. How come we don't have to put these like spaces in here? J equals J plus one. If J equals six, then 2680. Continue, maybe? No. All right, let's try to run it again. Maybe that will solve the problem. I don't know if Jay is still on, but uh, that was actually a good idea. So let's see if let's see if that solves the problem going forward. I mean, it, it really is stupid if it does. Still here? All right. Let's let's see what happens, Jay. All right. So we're, we're this base is always like at the bottom. It looks like I, I don't know if it re, what ha, what happened here. What's, what's with this random number generator or what? All right. Let me try to do this again. Torpedo <laughs> Matt says we're debugging the code in real time. Apparently, torpedo down one. Right, that guy's dead. Let me go to the base now. Impulse down. One, two, three. Actually, let's screw that. Impulse down. Let's go three. I'm going to try to shoot this guy and see if it works this time. Uh, <laughs> Captain Kirk would say to Worf, you're raised by humans. You're one of the good ones. It's funny. Phasers left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Oops. Left six. Uh, what happened? How did I miss him? It didn't go far enough. Phasers left seven. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't have enough range. All right, let me move to the left more. Impulse left four. Okay, now phasers left two. All right, I think that actually worked. I think that that last minute debugging actually seems like it worked. All right, so now let's go dock at the base. Impulse down. Four. Impulse right. Two. All right, so now we're in good shape because now we know where our base is. So I could like try to move around, and then I've already killed two enemies. There's only twenty-five. There apparently, there's no time limit in this one. So if it's, as long as it doesn't crap out again, I should be able to move around and like hunt Klingons. All right, so let's see. Warp left one. It's like rejoin this the new sector now, and I lost uh, I lose like twenty percent of my of my power by doing that. So more power is down to eighty percent. Oh my god! All right, so again, like every time there's live Klingons, I lose. Um, how does it work? I lose um four percent of my shield power per turn. All right, so let's see if I can let's shoot the Klingon down below me at the bottom. Torpedoes down one, two, three, four, five. My shield power is down to seventy six percent though. I don't think I have enough turns to even survive, to get out, to, to get out of here. We're we'll interested to load the tape to real model or the cassette deck and see what the bug shows. It should this 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 I mean what I did here in this case, Jay, was I, I loaded it right off here and I used wave to cast, so it's possible wave to cast like screwed it up, but like it doesn't make any sense. It would, that wouldn't happen. I mean, like, it never happened to be in any other program. So, you know, you're right. I guess we can try it out, but I'm I would willing to bet that that's actually a bug in the real thing, but anything is possible. Yeah. So, all right. Let's, let's, uh, the stars are, like, unfortunately, like, really in the way. I guess I have to move impulse power down three. This seems like really cheap if you could just pick them off by sitting at the base. Impulse right three. Impulse down two. Now I'm at full power again. Phasers left one. <laughs> Phasers left two. And they can't even they, they can't even hit me because I have, I'm sitting at the base. Impulse left uh, two. Phasers left three. Okay, now now there's only two of them, so it's, not, that was a dumb. I should have done that, but whatever. Impulse uh, left two. Fa uh, phasers up 
one. Impulse up one, two, three, four, five. Phasers right four. Look at that. It's like a piece of cake. It's like shooting Klingons in a barrel. All right, let me go back and re refuel. Impulse down five. This is definitely a very simplistic variant of the Star Trek game. One, two, three, four. Oops. What did I do? Impulse right four. Why is that not working? Oh, shoot. My impulse power is only at 16%. Oh, no. I didn't think this through. <laughs> I can't do that. I think I lost because there's no way for me to get back to the base. Unless I get lucky and I warp right next to it. Oh, come on. That is so cheap. All right, let's try that. Warp right one. Why don't you warp me, bastard? Now there's more Klingons here. Oh, come on. Warp left one. There's, not even gonna be, there's probably not even going to be a base here anymore. It looks like every time you go to the sector, it just it just redraws it randomly. So like, whenever you go like go from one sector to the, you know, there's no actual real map here that it's keeping. Like every other game we played, it's just like completely random. So basically, I lost unless I happen to warp into a sector with a base randomly which is and I only have two more chance three more chances to do that because my war power drops 20% every turn right see I'm oh, there's a black hole that's interesting if I shoot a phaser into a black hole then it might turn into a base it said or I might be destroyed the problem is I can't even get to that base I don't have enough power to get there Let's try it anyway for the hell of it. Phasers down three. I turned into a star. Yeah, I did shoot the black hole. It said it would turn into either a base or a star or I would die. So it turned into a star. Damn it. Are the bases always... At the, it looks like the base is always at the bottom there. All right, let's, I have to try it again. Warp right one. I'll try this again. If, if Assuming I lose, which I'm pretty sure I will... I'm going to try to not uh, not use up all my impulse power without realizing it. That really was really freaking... This really See, again, the base is there, but I can't get there. Uh, warp up... Oh, sorry. Warp up one. Come on. Come on. My last chance. Uh, come on. There's no way to get there. Nah, I lose. All right. I have to just kill myself. Uh, let me just let me just let the Klingons kill me and see what happens. Impulse up one. <laughs> I'm, 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 never, I'm not gonna be able to make a movie of it. Impulse up one. Okay, one more one more turn, I should be dead. I can't I can't even move again though. Impulse right one. Ship exploding. <laughs> I ran because I ran I overused my engine, so my ship exploded. All right, that 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 was sort of fun, sort of. There was that's it, ship exploding. All right, I guess it's starting a new game right away. Let's see what happens here. All right, I guess a new game. All right, let's try this again. This time, I'm not going to waste all my impulse power. Sheesh. All right, let's go right away to the base. Impulse down four. Uh, phasers right three. Impulse right one, two, three, four, five. What do I want for now? It's 1978, actually. <laughs> but listen, um, we played uh, that other game uh, that was originally called Time Trek, and then Radio Shack republished it under a different name. What was it called again? Um, uh, shoot. Well, Time Trek was the one that was Invasion Force. We played a different game that was also from 1979 or something, and it was way better than this. So I think I just got it, I got it done here. All right. Um, impulse left one. Torpedoes up 
for who published this game? Instant Software. Um, Instant Software was like Wayne Green's company. They made um, Killabaugh magazine. And I think later they published also the, the TRS-80 Micro uh, magazine. All right, so that's one down. Let's go right back. I, I don't want to take any chances this time. Let's go right back to the base. The thing is, like, even if I... I could just get b bad luck and lose any... If I go to, like, a sector without a base a few times. You know what, Ryan? I miss games like cassette, too, especially because these cassettes, like, still work great after all these years. They don't go bad or anything. It seems like discs go bad, CDs go bad. One, two, three, four. Let's use a torpedo. Up, four. Okay, that guy's dead. Let's go back to the base. Okay, let's get the last cling on. Impulse left, one. That's a lot of impulse to get up there. So six, I use six percent every time. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's thirty-six. All right, I should be able to make it back. What there and back? Impulse up six. Phasers right one. Impulse down six. Impulse right one. Okay, so now refueled. Now we got to go to the next sector. So let's go warp left one. Hopefully I get lucky this time. Hey, Jay, you're absolutely correct about the pad. Actually, I had to re-glue the pad on this one um, today before loading it. Um, the good cassettes, they come with screws. This one doesn't. These are cheapo cassette by Instant Software. The good cassettes come with screws, so you can unscrew it and you can do it easily. With this one, because there's no screws, it's glued together, you can break it, but I didn't want to do that, so I just... I just pulled the tape, and then I, 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 I took a tweezers and glued it on with the tweezers. But yeah, that's a little bit annoying. And I do that for, like, I'd say 20% of the cassettes I deal with because it does come off pretty often. All right, so there's no base in here. You know what? I don't want to even want to fight these guys, but I guess... All right, why not? I'll just... I'll, I guess I'll fight a couple of them at least. Um, the ones that are right lined up with me. So let's do phasers right three. Okay. Uh, phasers down one. Okay, now let's get out of here. Only 72% shields. Warp right one. Oh, there's a black hole there too, by the way. But that's that seems like a very desperate measure because if it's a chance you could get destroyed, I would only do that if I had no other choice. The good thing is my impulse power is at 100%. This see this is this is like suicide because in every turn, this is if there was no star there right to the bottom next to the base, then I'd be in good shape. But because there's a star there, there's no way for me. I gotta I gotta go through three Klingons to get to that that one that's you know the ba the one in the right corner, and each turn I'm gonna lose one two three four five six seven Klingons times four percent is twenty eight, and I only have, my shields are already at seventy two. I don't think I can make it there before dying. I don't think it's possible, so I gotta get the hell out of here. Warp left one. So bad luck, but I don't really have a choice. The warp distance you can enter a higher value, but it seems like there's no point because if you go a higher value, then you lose, um, for every every warp number you go, you drain 20% of the warp power. So just now I drain 20%, I'm down to 40. If I have done a warp factor 3, I'd be at 0% warp power. I don't think I have any better chance of actually getting to a base. So it seems like there's no reason to ever go anything above warp 1. And again, there's no base here. So let's go back to the right, I guess. Yeah, it's stupid. And it keeps, start, it keeps putting me on the top of the screen for some reason. <sighs> I'm really screwed. <laughs> this game is, like, really hard, but, like, not, not in a fair way. It's completely random if I get a base or not. Warp up one. If there's no base here, then I, then I lost. They actually didn't put me on the, the top this time. Please let there be a base. Ugh. 
So that's something I could do. Oh, there's a black hole. All right, I guess I'll have to shoot the black hole and hope for the best. So let's first choose to torpedo at the first Klingon. Torpedo up one. <laughs> 36. Oh, my God. I think I think the next turn I'm dead. I don't think I can even make it to shoot the black hole. <laughs> Impulse up one. 4%. All right, so this is this is for all the marbles. Phasers right one. <laughs> God damn it! I got a star. Ship exploding. Ah! All right, this is the last time I'm trying. If if I can't win this this next time, then I give up because this game is too hard. What do you guys think of this? I don't think it's very good, to be completely honest. Like it's too it's too much it's too much luck here. Phasers left one. Impulse right two. Don't like it. Yeah, I don't like it either. Uh, torpedoes up one. Imagine if you bought this in 1978 and you paid whatever you paid. I think it's like 30 bucks or something. Imagine you paid like 30 bucks for this. Like, how would you feel? Like, like would you like go back to the store and like murder the person? <laughs> Impulse down five. All right, let's try to get some luck here. Warp down one. I don't understand why there's so many Klingons show up at the same time. I mean, like, that's the problem. Like, if there, if the, if there wasn't 500 Klingons in one sector, I could maybe survive. I made a mistake the first time even trying to, like, navigate when there was no... No base or whatever. I'm not. I'm not. Just I'm just getting the hell. I'm not even shooting anybody. Just get the hell out of here. Warp up one. Enterprise at the top again. Another black hole. On oh, a base. Okay. And I get a star in the way. There's only four Klingons. I think I actually have a shot to get there. So let's try that. Um. Phasers right two. Okay. Impulse right one, two, three, four, five, six. Impulse down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. By the way, I think I think it, it fills you up before, like, you know, if you get there and you use up all your energy, but at least you got to the base, you're probably still okay. All right, impulse up. It may be a hard problem with the randomization, Jay says. Yeah, you're probably right. One, two, three, four. Phasers left three. Okay, that guy's dead. Let's go down again. I just want to beat this game one time. If that's, I'm not sure if it's even possible, to be honest. Uh, impulse up one. Up one. Impulse left three. Three torpedoes down one. Uh, impulse left two. I'm like scared I'm gonna like have too much impulse. Torpedoes up four. Okay. Impulse right five. Impulse down one. All right. So that's one other thing done. But again, that's just, just pure, you know, doesn't really get me anything. Right, let's go up again. Um, warp up. I see that good luck with up. Warp up one. <sighs> they, like, boxed me in this time. The base is only in that one spot, it looks like. Ever. All right, another base. All right. Unfortunately, there's a star in the way. I don't know that I actually can get there again. Before getting too badly hit. Let's see. Phaser left one. Down to 72 already. See, in order to get there, it's a minimum of one, two, three, four turns. I mean, I, I could shoot two Klingons if I want also during those turns. I, I don't have enough. It's too, I, there's no way to get there in time. I have, to, I have to get out of here. And I wasted shield power like an idiot, too. 
All right, warp down one. Yeah, I, this I don't like this game either. This there's not this it's too it's too random and like there's no there's, there's like very it's impossible to have a good strategy. So I could fight Klingons here, but there's no point because I mean I guess I guess I might as well shoot the one guy to my left. I guess I think. Fine, let me shoot him. Phaser's left for. That, that was terrible. I got hit by both of those guys, even though I killed one of them. Matt says, I like this. You may have just invented a new kind of stream. Code debugging is entertainment medium. I don't know, maybe. Warp up one. Thanks to Jay, who noticed the zero at the beginning there. I, I'm not, I mean, I probably would have noticed it too if I actually tried to debug it. But, I, like... Okay, come on. Give me a base. Give me a base. Ugh. And they, they put a star there, that, that place where the base would be, like, half the time. Warp up one. Got two more shots here. Maybe we should go back to the point and click Star Trek game by Interplay. Green Raccoon, I need, I need to play the uh, the Judgment Rights, um, the sequel. I just haven't got around to it yet. But this game is this game is garbage, pretty much, where I can tell here. What was the other error I encountered at the start? Um, the other error I encountered at the start was some kind of flow, some kind of uh, like FC error. It said um, f a function call error. But when I looked at the manual, Jay, afterwards, it said, um, it says specifically in the manual that, uh, where is it? Impulse drive is the power that moves Enterprise within the sector, and warp drive allows you to maneuver the Enterprise from sector to sector. So I think they didn't actually expect you to try to use the impulse drive to go to the next sector, which is what I tried before. Maybe I'll do that in this, in this game if I'm, like, desperate here. I got one more chance here. Warp... Let's go right one. Of course, they put me right on the left side. So if I get if I don't get a base here, I'll try to move off the screen to the left. I notice that if I move off the screen to the to the top, it always crashed the program. And yes, we we Green Raccoon, we did compl I did complete the game. I completed the whole game. I hundred percent of it. So if you didn't see it, go back and look at the at the past streams. All right, this is actually good. I, I actually have a base here. So let me. Let me move to the right. Uh, maybe I should torpedo that Klingon that's below me. Torpedo down four. Okay, shield power 52%. Let's go impulse down one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, phasers right one. Did it come with a magnifying glass? It did. But you're right. It's this is like damn small. Look at this. This is my hand. Hold on, wait a second. This is my hand. This is the thing. And this is the, how small the text is. It didn't come with it. But there was there was there was instructions on the screen, Jay, before the game started. Alright. Uh impulse right. One, two, three, four, five. Impulse down one. That's actually managed to do that. Torpedoes up one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. All right. Killed only 14, 14 more. Maybe this is actually possible. Warp up one. If I get lucky. I'm curious what happens if you actually win this. This is like, congratulations, fool. You're the only person who ever like actually stuck it out to try to beat this game. All right, let's, that didn't work. Warp up one. Put me over there again. I never end up anywhere near the base if the base is actually here. This is the base. Oh, there's a base. Okay. Look at that. Look, look, how, look how this has to navigate to get there, though. I can't go down. I got to go, like, to the right, then to the left. Down, then to the right, then down, then to the, then to the right, then down again. By the time I do that, I'll probably be dead. But let me try it. Impulse down one. Impulse right two. Torpedoes up one. Torpedoes down one. All right, shield power at 56%. Impulse right four. 
torpedoes down. So let's try, try not to kill the base. Four. Okay, do good. Impulse down four. Impulse right one. Impulse down one. I used up like almost all my impulse power, but I actually made it. All right, 14 killed. There's 11 left. Warp up one. Scanning, scanning sectors for Klingons, Captain. Mr. Spock, try to scan the sector for the Klingons. Scanning, Captain. No Klingons found. Wait, we're wrong. A bunch of Klingons found. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, let's go... Let's go right. Impulse, right, three. I'm getting good luck now. <coughs> what are the total sales of this game were? What age group did the game target? Like, I can answer the second question. The age, the game targeted... Like, probably people, like, in their 40s, because nobody else had TRS-80s. I mean, like, it wasn't like 20-year-olds buying TRS-80s, I don't think. Um, I shouldn't say that, actually. How, how old was my dad when he had the TRS-80? Um, I guess he was, like, in his 20s. May I take that back? But it definitely wasn't kids. It, it was, like, it was people that could afford to buy a computer in 1978. So that was, like, you know, upper middle class, I would guess, or people that just spent all their money on computers. That's sort of what my dad did. He was like like a real serious hobbyist. Phasers right two. Okay. Impulse down six. Perfect. Impulse left one. Yeah, sales couldn't have been very very significant, Jay. Um, there's no way. Photon torpedo. Sorry, torpedoes. Let's do phasers. Ryan likes the phaser animation. For phasers up one. It seems like there's no difference in the phasers of the photon torpedoes anyway. Impulse left three, except the phasers have a short range. Phasers up, but there's no damage. It's not like in the other games we played, the Klingons had like, you know, a certain amount of hit points and they got damaged. Here it looks like if you hit them, then they're dead. They're dead, so you go. Impulse right four. All right, only how many left? Eight left. Let's see if we can make this happen. Warp up one. Jeremy says, you're trying to win new subs with the amazing game. <laughs> Listen, if people sub, if they like the content, they can sub. I'm just trying to have a good time. That's what I'm doing here. Hopefully other people on the stream are having a good time, even though the game sucks. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Warp up one. What machine am I running the emulator on? I'm running it on a piece of crap Dell laptop. Um, like with a Windows 10 laptop. It's the T it's TRS-32 is the, emu is the emulator that I'm running. That didn't work either. Warp up one. Got three more chances here. To get a good configuration. If I lose after getting, having only eight left, I'm really going to be unhappy. It's a black hole. Stu is the hottest new gaming talent on YouTube. For the oldest possible games, Ryan. Warp left. Let's go warp up again. Warp up one. Green Raccoon, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. I try to... Well, I don't really try, actually. I just, you know, I try to have a good time is what I try to do. And I hope people like that, and, you know, I just play whatever suits my fancy. Should I shoot the the uh, the, the warp? <laughs> the, should I shoot the black hole to the left of me? I'll let the chat decide. If I shoot the black hole, it might do nothing. It might turn into a base, or I might die and lose the game. But I only have one more warp power left anyway. Ryan says, shoot it. Jay, I look like a mirror image of you. So what does that mean, Jay? Do you have a beard? Is like you like the mirror the mirror stew, like the mirror universe? Or is my like left side of my face like your right side of my face? Like, what does that mean? It has to be a base at this point? Ryan, it does not have to be a base. Trust me. <laughs> I, I, I'm willing to bet you... Yeah, the others have been stars. I'm willing to bet you this one is going to blow me up. That's what I think is going to happen. Or that's the third possibility is it destroys the Enterprise. So there's a risk in doing it. If there's no risk, I would shoot it. Even though there's 100 Klingons around me, I'll get killed, but... I want one more vote. Jay, what do you think I should do? Or Green Raccoon? Should I try to shoot the black hole? No guts, no glory? Or should I just give up? Or should I just try to use my last war power and see if I can get somewhere with that? Alright, two votes for yes. Alright, let's see what happens. Phasers. Left. One. Everybody Ready? Uh, uh. Ah! <laughs> I knew 
it! Damn it! You suck! <laughs> this game sucks! I'm sorry. That was terrible! That was not fair! This is what happens when you try. I told you that was gonna happen, Ryan! This is what happens when you. <laughs> to me, it's still like the Gorgon from the Star Trek 3 season. <laughs> Star Trek season 3 episode, The Children Shall Lead? Come on, what is that? So, like. Children! We are, we are going to the planet. Your parents are dead. Don't worry about them. You know what you must do. Take over the ship. Make everyone have their worst nightmare. Everything is about to come true. You think I look like Melvin Belly, Green Raccoon, is what you're saying. He was a famous attorney, apparently. But I don't I don't think I look like that guy at all. He was he was much fatter than me, actually. I'm not that fat. Like, am I? Like, I, if, I'm, if I'm that fat, I definitely need to, like, lose some more weight. <laughs> Ryan, you're absolutely right. Come That's how I feel right now. Like, 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 what the heck? A game, come on. You see, this is like, this is when you get your play with a computer. Because if this was like a live game, like if I was a dungeon master, and like someone said, all right, shoot the black hole, go for a desperate shot, you roll the dice, even if the dice come up that it's a explode, you say that it was a base, because you, you want people to have a good time and have fun. Like, right now, like, that wasn't fun. That was just like, they just killed me, basically. <laughs> Green Raccoon that says, now that is a con yell. Yeah, live long and prosper. And I'm, I'm dead. I, I'm not doing that again. That's This is just masochism. I, I had enough. I think, Like I said, I knew this would be a pretty short stream tonight because this game is just too simplistic. But I don't know. And I paid way too much money for it, too, to get a game from 1978, which sucks, I don't know, big time. But regardless of the fact that the game sucks, I still had a good time playing it because you guys are here talking to me and interacting and that's what I do this for. I have, I have an awesome time with you, with you guys on the stream and the chat. So um, thank you, everybody. I think I'm going to end it around now. But thank you, Jay. Thank you, Green Raccoon. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, everyone else who was here. If you're watching this after the fact, you're not subscribed, you might want to subscribe. Why not? Can't hurt. You can like on the video if you like it. I'll do more games like this and, and also better games. And we'll stream again tomorrow. Probably another, another chapter of that Contradiction game tomorrow. And then go back to something else like this. So thanks, everybody. It was lots of fun. Have a great night. And peace out.